Hi everyone, I'm Brianna Nicole from Etched Actuarial and today I'm going to be going through how to draw the area of the distribution in SOA sample problem 314 for the exam P. So let's get right into it. So for question 314 of the SOA sample problems for exam P, uh, the function that we're looking at is F at xy equals k or 0, um, k for 0 less than absolute value of x plus absolute value of y is less than 1 and 0 otherwise. So to draw this function, um, first we're going to just create an x and y axis here, x, y. Now, what you should always do when you get this kind of a question is look at the borders. So the borders will be when absolute value of x plus absolute value of y equals 1 and when it equals 0. So obviously the only way that this equation could equal 0 is if both x and y equal 0. So x, y equals 0 is right there. If we want to look when x, absolute value of x plus absolute value of y is less than 1, then what we need to do is think of when this is true. So if x is 1 and y is 0, then obviously we're going to get 1. So that was x is 1, y is 0. Simil similarly, um, we could have x equals 0 and y equals 1. That's right here. Now since these are absolute values, we also know that we could have negative 1 for x and y equals 0 and we'd still get 1. So x equals negative 1, y equals 0 is right there. And likewise, we could have x equals 0 y equals negative 1 and we'd get 1. So that's right here. Now we can see the shape of a diamond here but I just want to show you how we can also find other points that make this border. Um, so if we had 0.5 for x and 0.5 for y we'd get 1. That's right here. And since these are absolute values we can have negative 0.5 for x and 0.5 for y and we can do the same thing to get any of these four points and now you're really starting to see the shape of a diamond so my graph isn't <laughs> very well drawn but you see the picture so this is the border 0 to 1 so pretty much this means that anything that is greater than 0 and less than 1 in this area is the whole distribution. Or sorry, the whole area. So that means anything here. So that's how we get the graph for question 314 of the SOA sample problems. Now if you want help uh, creating a study strategy or help answering questions that you can't seem to figure out the answer to because I know the SOA doesn't make it easy to understand, uh, jump over to my study strategy consulting program and I'd be glad to help you out. There's a link to that in the description below.